people are trying to <coughs> be like Fir'aun and Nimrod who become uh, in the Rabbi Kumala, I am your greatest Lord, to be God okay. on earth. As if they're going to live forever. They're all they're up to all kinds of things. Tampering with everything that Allah created. And they say, Lat Habjida di Khalkillah. Don't change the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they're trying to Talking to, they're trying to uh, re engineer everything. They may test two people, an artificial intelligence people, to change the DNA of people and the RNA of people, and they're playing with something. He might create something, one day it comes back to eat them. That's facade, corruption. To destroy what Allah created and try to substitute their ideas in the place of the Lord. And Allah said, I give them a chance to extend the rope to, in hopes that they will repent and come to their senses. But when the time is up, everything has its time. I remember when I was a boy, there was a commercial on TV, I can't remember what it was for. Yeah, they say, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature in the sky filled with lightning. It was, I forgot what it was, one of the early fake products that came out, margarine or something. Mother Nature being angry with them. Not Mother Nature, but Allah becomes angry. He gives chance. He gives chance up to the, when it's finished, and then like those who went before, Pakuti and Davido called me Nadir and Barmo. Alhamdulillah, you don't know what I mean. They sought to take the command in their hands. And the command belongs to Allah. The Amr Allah belongs to Allah, not to people. Human beings, Jini, Jaalu, Khalaifa fil Ard. Allah said, I want to make a deputy for myself on earth. Human beings. Or Swan Sayyidina Adam. Khalaifa, deputy, representing the Almighty. Deputy. On behalf of the Lord, not on behalf of themselves. Deputy is servant also, from highest to lowest. All of them are servants. Everyone has to come to Allah as a servant at the end. Who is asking not to be any more deputy. It's enough honor to be deputy. <laughs> he honored the children of Adam. Zuriyat Adam. Bani Adam. Our grandfather. To make us candidates to be deputies for Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a high station of servanthood. But when the servant 
forgets he's a servant, problems come. Came all throughout history. Holy Quran is filled with the stories of uh, those who went before. He said, travel through the earth and see what was the remains of those that went before you. It means also travel through Holy Quran and look and see the stories of the past nations. If you're lucky enough to travel around, you can see everywhere ruins, even in this country you can find. If you go out west, you can find <laughs> remains. They were stronger than you, more powerful than you, they were given more than you, and in the end they lost it. They lost their chance because they failed to be servants, to fulfill their servanthood. And they followed Iblis, who came to our grandfather and grandmother, Adam and Hawa, alayhi wa in the garden and said, if you eat from this tree, you should be as gods and live forever. And when they believed him, and they were prophet, he was prophet, Satan Adam. You can't say he made a mistake, it was to show us our mistake. They say it was his Zuria in his backbone pulling our grandfather to make do that. Or they say he, what prophets did, if a prophet shows something that's a mistake, you can't say, look, he did something wrong, it's not good manners. Prophets were ordered to do what they do. If Sayyidina Khidr said, I didn't do it from my own will, it was Allah's will, what about prophets? It means they were ordered to do something to show people the consequences of this or that. And to take lessons. They say, don't eat from this tree. Everything else is free for you. Satan said, no, eat from this. You live forever. You regard yourself. He just doesn't want you to be. They ate, and first they lost their honor. When you look after Malayani, what doesn't concern you, when you leave your servanthood, Clothes is taken, the garment of honor is taken away. And they came to earth, and they had already the eternal life in the garden. Instead of eternal life as gods, they came to the land of death. The promise of Iblis was false. No need to be servants. Follow that, you fall to the lowest as far as suffering. And that's been our condition ever since, human beings, trying to return. The Prophet said, the highest, uh, they asked him, what's your favorite name? The Prophet has so many names. Sayyidina Muhammad, Sayyidina Ahmed, Sayyidina Taha, Yasin, Mutahar, Abu Qasim. So, so many names, 200 names or more names is listed in the Ayah of Khairat. Must be more also. And they asked him, what's your favorite name? And he said, when my Lord said to me, Ya Abdi, oh my servant. Shah Mardan, Sayyidina Ali said, there's nothing... No rank higher than servanthood. Ramana Sheikh used to say like that also. There's no rank higher than servanthood. But the secret target of every nafs, every ego, to be like Firaun, to say, I am God, I am your greatest Lord. I am the greatest Lord. two greatest lords, they'll begin to fight also who's which one's the greatest. It's implied. No ego is going to be happy with because he's one of the greatest lords. If you reach that rank and you're sitting with other Fir'aun, which one of us is 
the greatest door has to come out sooner or later. You can take comfort from that. If you, evil conspirators plot to take over the world, soon they'll finish everybody else and it'll be just them. Oh, here, here. We rule the world now. Yeah, we do. Sheikh told the story of Satan Adam when he came to earth he landed in where? Sri Lanka and Satan Hawa landed in Jeddah as far as he could see he was the only one on earth fell from the garden, but huh, all for me, at least, ego, not his ego, showing up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sent Jibreel in the shape of a man. He came to Sayyidina Adam. You're here also? <coughs> you, you're here. We have to put a boundary. Part for you, part for me. Ego. Showing us our ego. Prophets are teaching us about ourselves. And saying the Yunus fell into the sea, alayhi salam. He was complaining, and then he was swallowed by the whale also. And he said, La ilaha illa, Subhan is equal to me, Allah means to teach us. Come out from complaining, from difficulties to praising. Complaining brings worse situation. Every complaint brings another complaint. So Jibreel came to Satan Adam, We have to put a boundary, uh, that part for you, this part for me. Okay. And Jibreel put a rock, at least the boundary rock. <coughs> that part for you, this part for me. And Adam looked at that rock. I think we cheated a little bit. We put the rock on my side more to extend your territory more. I never do that. Said Jibreel. No, no. You pushed your boundary into my territory. And they began to fight. Jibreel, with his angelic power, put Satan Adam down. Say that Adam with his foot pushed the rock <laughs> back the, the other way. This is ego. Came, prophets came to teach us. All prophets came to teach us. Be a servant. Be a servant. This world is not for you, it's not for me, it's not for anyone. That they've been working on dunya since Adam landed here. They never finished and they're never going to finish. And anyone asking to take this world for themselves, in the end they're going to lose. In the end they pass away and nothing. What was all that for? But still they continue. Elites in the time of Musa Ali, so they were to the end arguing with Sayyidina Musa with his 
true what you say and want to show us our our effort to so the Musa went on to his in Mount Sinai and the others stayed back elites of the tribes and Allah showed the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he warned his people if you and this world is in difficulty fasad because of what you did I'm letting you to taste the results of everything you did everything people did Condition today, we did it. All of humanity. All I say, I'm making you to taste that. He said, oh, You did it. Oh, stop it. To make us come to our senses and leave Fasad, leave Zon, leave uh, trying to go past our bounds. Say, Hashem. I always used to say, who knows his limit, keeps his limit. Elites, they didn't know their limits. And all of us, we didn't get to be elites, so we can only be tyrants on a small group. They, he made like Fir'aun to be tyrant over huge groups. And still there. If they repent, others shows mercy. If they return to what was happening before, Allah say we return to what we did before. So twice we were warned here. Then he destroyed it. First time, second time. They destroyed them completely. Then they come back. If they repent, mercy for them. If no, Allah will return to his way. Allah is Lord. We are servants. Our goal and our kingdom and our future and our hereafter is in Akhira, not on Dunya. Dunya is only a place a while to acquire the good characteristics to go for Akhira. But they wanted and demanded we hear everything. Look what was the end. May Allah save us from that. Save us from that. Not to go beyond the bounds of servanthood. Quran Sheikh and Sheikh Mohideen and Sayyid Abu Qadr Jilani and all of them were cautioning and warning their followers Keep the barrier, the boundary between Lord and servant. Keep to servanthood. Keep the safe way. Keep the way of safety. Lord and servant. Keep with as a servant. Say now he said there's no rank higher than servant. Servant to Allah. Not slave, servant. To love. Divine service. May Allah forgive us and make us to be busy with the honor that He gave us, all of us, by day and by night, to improve it and to try as much as we can to be busy with servanthood. <laughs> Allah says you have to look after your life, you have to do everything, but keep your servanthood. I think everyone has to go in seclusion all their life and never eat or drink. Or, no. They left an easy way, but keep your servant. Make that your goal. One meaning, hold to the rope of servanthood and don't let it go.
Yahweh grant us the blessings of this night and mercy and forgiveness and shifa for everyone who is sick and rahma and mercy for and Jenna for whoever passed away and it keeps us a straight line. Look after our servanthood, look after your uh, all of us, our eternal life that we're going to take from this life. I told a story, I don't want to make it long, I told a story that Molana Sheikh used to say, it's a tradition, I won't call it a hadith, it may be a hadith. When a person passes away, goes into the grave. He should find himself or herself not alone. There there should be a figure there. The most ugly, the most, uh, like in the movies, the the monster, you wish you could run to the other side of the world to be away from it. It's a figure representing all our badness, our bad desires and bad uh, doings and it will turn to the person in the grave and say, don't you recognize me? Say, who is Who are you? I am what you were wanted all your life. You were after me. Now we're going to be together forever. Person <laughs> to escape to the other to the next planet if possible. Keep servanthood. I'm advising myself. Keep your target towards Allah and His Prophet. We're lucky that He honored us with this path. Keep it. Keep it. Everyone is in a confusion difficulty. Islam began as a stranger, the prophets all right, yeah, and in the end will become again a stranger. Or he said, my nation will become like the uh, foam on the sea. So much, but no substance. Nothing. Foam. No. Keep your way. May Allah forgive us. Use Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim as a rope to get up, ladder to get up. May Allah forgive us and mercy us. Forgive me and bless you, as Mahana used to say. Be heard to Habib, be heard to Fatiha. Strange apparition has appeared. Sometimes there's nothing to say, sometimes there's something to say. MashaAllah.